I'm going to demonstrate for you now how to set up your programming environment in Ubuntu. Um, the way that you might have done it before using idle is still going to work, of course. If uh, you've used this before, you know that you've got the Python shell and we can open up a new window to start a program. I'm going to move this over here for now. And I write in the code and unimaginatively, I'm going to call that hello world. And I'm going to save that. I've got a directory that I use in my home directory for doing all my Python scripts. So I'm going to call this one hello1.py. Save that. And now that I've saved it, I can run it. And when I run it, the output shows up over in the Python shell. Uh, I mean, that's uh, a great way of doing it. You can certainly continue doing that. One of the disadvantages is that if you don't like the editor that comes with idle, uh, you're kind of stuck because there's no other way of uh, getting the input in there. You could um, edit another text editor and then open it and reopen it and reopen it, but it gets a little tedious having to save it, open it, and then reopen it right away. So I'm going to show you a little bit different way of setting it up. And um, something like idle is called an uh, integrated development environment where you've got the editor and the shell and maybe some other tools all included in the same program. Um, and uh, there are other integrated development environments, IDEs, that have all of that in the same window. I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It's a completely unintegrated development environment where we're going to use a text editor and the shell command line interface separate from each other. set those up like that. You can use any editor. I'm using the text editor that comes by default with Ubuntu, but if there's another text editor that you prefer, then you can use that. Um, I'm kind of partial to Vim myself, but whatever whatever works for you for a text editor. I'm going to do the same here. Type in my instructions, print hello world again. I'm going to save that in my Python directory. I think this time I should call it something like hello hello two dot pi just so we don't end up conflicting with the other one. And I'm gonna go over here and take a look where where am I? Okay, I'm in my home directory and I'm gonna list just to make sure yeah I do have a Python subdirectory in there so I'm gonna change directory into that and let me list that and take a look. Yep, there's hello2.py. So now what I can do is instead of going into uh, another shell, is I can just go Python hello2.py. So I start by calling Python, the Python application, and I'm giving it some input, a parameter in there, of the file hello2.py. So what's going to happen is that the Python, sorry about that, the Python, um, application is going to run and it's going to run the instructions that are in that script hello2.py. Let's uh, see what happens and there's my output. Well one nice thing I like about this like I said is you don't have to save and then uh, reopen it and run it. You can just run it in the shell again right away. So I'm going to put another line here. I'm using a text editor and a terminal window. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go here uh, in the shell. One nice trick if you don't know it is if you use the up arrow it will take you to your previous command. So all I have to do is hit the up arrow then instead of typing it in and there is the output from the program as it has been revised. And you can go back and forth and make revisions to your program and then go run them again in the terminal. Um, take a look at the output, go back and revise, take a look at the output again. You can keep going back and doing that process of development, developing the program iteratively just by gradually starting out with a rough idea of what the program should do and slowly refining it until you get the program that does what you require. Anyway, that's using a text editor and the terminal interface as a way of developing your programs. You can certainly use idle as well, but if you want to use a different text editor, then 
using this method is a nice way of being able to do that.